Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Core Class Legacy Evolution Dinobot Slug figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. For a bit of fun obviously we'll do some comparisons with him and his original generation oneself. And indeed, with, in my opinion, the definitive version, he can't even fit into the back of that. But of course, more relevantly, we'll do some comparisons of him with some other core class figures in the same toy line and range. Right, so before we get started, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. Right, also I need to thank um, In Demand Toys because that's who I purchased this from online and as you can see they sent it to me straight away. I also have to confess that I've already opened him up and had a quick look at him. So before we do, let's have a look at the lovely artwork on the top there. There's the alternate mode, there's the Legacy Evolution, so the new logo underneath and there indeed is a great picture of him in his robot mode. And of course there is the Legacy Evolution artwork that we've come to see right let's have a go at sliding this guy out nice and carefully now this is how he comes pretty much attached and obviously that would be attached there so we can go straight into some first impressions and again you've got to come i suppose respect yeah or take into consideration that these are core class figures so the detail on them i think is very good for what you're getting the arm articulation is fantastic look it'll go out to the side all the way around you can hear it actually clicking up and down you've got a waist yep yeah, we've got a waist swivel there you can see we've got ball sockets at the hips we've got a knee which is ball and socket we've obviously got no ankle tilt or rock or wrists but again for a core class for a basic figure this is fantastic the head detail is brilliant and you can see it rotates looks up and down as well so for first impressions of this little guy Again, I think he's great. What a homage to the Generation 1 original as well. We've got his tail, which doubles up as an accessory, and it also doubles up as Volcanicus's head. So that's important, obviously, that you've got both of them pieces there. And the instructions are just basic like that. Right, as far as first impressions, guys, I've said I think he looks great. What we're going to do with the rest of the video, we're going to have a look at him in his alternate mode. We're going to have a look at him in his combined mode. <clears throat> And we'll come back in robot mode and see how he displays and compares with some other figures. So we're back with him in his alternate mode. Quick apologies to no transformation process on this video. It will be uploaded separately. That is to keep the main length of the video down and not to spoil it for people who don't want to see it. So the alternate mode, as you can see, isn't too bad, to be honest. Yes, it's nice and chunky and yes, it's nice and basic. But again, as we've already said, it's a core class figure and also it's going to be a combiner figure as well. So what we've got is there's articulation obviously in the legs. They'll go forward and back, both the front and the hind legs. The jaw's got articulation. The head will even turn a little bit as well. Um, and yeah, I think, as I say, he looks great for that reason. Um, there's a few gaps, obviously, again, but you've got to take into consideration the price point and what this figure is aimed at. But again, what I really like about this is the homages to G1. So you've got the gold head matched. You've got the gold feet on the top there matched. You've got the gold tail matched. It's just great. And of course, the big thing with this is when he was in robot mode, you've got the cartoon accurate uh, red head rather than the original black one there, which you can see. With regards to some other core class figures, um, Rodimus there and wherever but there I've got Shockwave there you go he's quite yeah he's well in proportion with them with regards to some older mini bots shall we say he's much much bigger than some of the generation one mini bots and indeed in his alternate mode he's much bigger than Hotshot as well right let's have a quick look at him in his uh, just his combined mode I'm going to be doing the actual combining with Sludge in a separate video I just want to show you uh, what he looks like in it um, and then I'll, I might as well do the combined mode as well. So let's have a look at the two combined together right now. Okay, so here he is ready for the combining mode. And as you can see, he's pretty much just on his side. Again, there's going to be a much more detailed video of this uploaded shortly. This is where it gets quite clever, actually. And again, really impressive for its price point. So let's take the head out. Let's pop this into this little port here like so and then what we need to do is this part it is going to clip into the bottom of that but not just yet so what we need to do is we need to take sludge this is how you need sludge to be so these are turned around you can see these are going to be the main part of the hips 
we open up this and then we're going to take as i say this little tab it's going to fit into there like so and there you've got your two tabs the tab at the front and the head which is going to fit inside there so again really clever really quite intricate again for the price point in which you're paying and then you can just close the arms up either side as well so you can see how he really is going to take shape uh, everything's going to be attaching i suppose underneath and indeed to the side i personally can't wait to see how they're going to do that so it's going to be quite tall i mean obviously he's going to have some limbs on top of that again there is shockwave so he's taller than core class shockwave um, and he's about halfway up hot shot but yeah so these are going to be really really good one last thing to do then is come back have a look at him in his robot mode do some more comparisons and see how we can use and display him with his accessories okay back for the final time with him in his robot mode and again i suppose the great thing about this is you can choose whether to have the legs up or down it depends on how you want him to look same as you can also have the wings on the back of him up or down so the wings at the moment on the g1 you can see i can close like so oh i've knocked the missile off but that's not too detrimental let's take him off here now and just show you exactly what i mean you could do similar sorts of things with the studio a series 86 which i loved so again if you want you can have the legs up there which isn't too bad or if you want to and you've got the space you can have them facing backwards which is exactly what i've just said it's the homage there to g1 now with regards to these wing bits these come out and that's mainly for the combined mode you saw earlier. But again, if you wanted to, you can have it up and you can do pretty much exactly the same there with the G1 if you wanted to. So again, you can see the color scheme just works really well. The difference is the head color and that's of course, that's just how the toy was made. That's the same as the original Diaclone um, head. Right, with regards, we might as well keep him there actually. With regards to accessories, you've got the tiny little tab there and of course keep the Volcanicus's head in and that's your little blaster i'm just looking if there's any other five millimeter ports where i could put that on the side or something it doesn't look like there is but i'm sure as again you'll agree the um yeah the homage to g1 with this is fantastic just then he just did a little bit felt a little bit unbalanced so maybe if you've got the accessory and him facing forward you do need the legs folded up he's well in proportion with sludge in fact he's a little bit taller um again with uh, with i suppose comparison to an original g1 mini bot he is much 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 bigger <clears throat> with regards to a deluxe figure from the same toy line he's not too bad is he compared to that and here's another core class figure on this in fact can we fit them in i'm sure we can yeah on the side and indeed the decepticon so overall these have actually surpassed um, how good I thought they'd be because um, the core class range I think is getting better and better and I think with this they really are stepping the bar up I know obviously people won't really like the issues of the legs on the side of sludge etc but I think slug is a much much better um interpretation and indeed figure for the price range of, of what you can do with him and as you can see most importantly well i say most importantly depending on your age and what you collect it's a brilliant homage to the original one there so that's enough of talking about him for now i've got loads more legacy evolution to come up let me know what you think of him in the comments and of course guys take care